Macau is located only 64 kilometers away from Hong Kong. It only takes one hour of travel to Macau. So basically Macau is, consists of three islands. So Macau Island, Taipa, and Kolowan. Macanese food is really a very unique cuisine. The recipe is passed down by families by family, generation to generation, over centuries. That's why I must say, Macanese cuisine probably is the first fusion food in the world. It's all about the journey, so that the, the Portuguese, you know, they've obviously been in Macau a long time. They were, you know, massive explorers, so, you know, they came from different parts of the world, this, you know, Southeast Asia, through to India, Africa, and they brought all that influence with them. Loads of spices, uh, different colours, and with that sort of slow cooking process and lots of meat, uh, sometimes it can be heavy, but it's there to be shared with the family, uh, and that's a big part of Macanese food for me. I'm very proud of our Portuguese navigator. Thanks to them, so we have so rich culture here in Macau. The heritage that Portuguese people left in Macau is not only the food itself, but the, really the, the culture. We can still bring our roots in Portugal. So the mix of the Chinese Portuguese, I think is a very interesting part of the Macau living site. The Portuguese people bring us to Macau his own techniques of cooking. But as you, as you can see, at those times it's not easy to find the Portuguese ingredients there in Macau. So the local people and especially the local women, either Chinese or other foreign, foreign natures, they were very talented to adapt the ingredients, the local ingredients with so-called the Portuguese in the Portuguese traditional food. The things that we used to cook at home basically is a Chinese wok. So for any family, if you want to have a good minchi, minchi is a very famous and traditional food during Macau of the Macanese cuisine. We are cooking with a wok. So wok is basically is a Chinese utensils. Chinese food is obviously very quick cook. Um, I would say that Macanese food, the vast majority of the dishes are slightly slower, more relaxed, um, take your time, something to, to cook for the family, and usually a lot of food as well. What I personally love to cook when I'm trying different Macau dishes is a slow cooked dish, maybe something like an African chicken. It's all about uh, marinating it for a long time in that white wine, bay leaves, garlic, but then it, it pushes into influences from Chinese cuisine as well so the sort of um, the Macanese prawns are stir-fried uh, so that's obviously a Chinese cooking technique uh, but all the flavors in there are things like white wine butter uh, that's a European that, that flavor that is you know so, so definite influence from Portugal the risotto are brilliant the little pancakes deep-fried pancakes it's stuffed with uh, prawns and and, the, and a bechamel sauce uh, so it actually reminds me of my childhood it's quite a, 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 a kid's sort of um, uh, type of finger food, so it's really good for everyone to sort of dive into and keep eating more of. My favorite dish that I like to cook basically is a winter casserole. I used to cook this in Christmas time when we have a huge family and friends to come around for a family gathering on the Christmas Eve, I used to prepare this dish. This dish is consists of a variety of assorted meat like um, pork knuckle, pork belly, some beef, and some pork skin. Of course, we have to enhance it with some Chinese sausage and Chinese salty duck, who brings the soul of these dishes. I would say I like these dishes because in preparing the dishes will bring me a lot of memories of my family during Christmas time. Anywhere you go in the world, it's always going to be best where it comes from. And, and for me, Macanese food in Macau, it's all about San Malo, the, the, the sort of main old street uh, where you walk down or you almost squeeze through these days. It's also sort of getting to the side streets just off there where there's little um, restaurants dotted around that are specialist in one type of things. And these sorts of things you can only find in Macau. <laughs>